few weeks ago we have some dispute with the uh, NSSF about uh, Azina Plaza. We are the, I'm one of the tenants who have uh, uh, subleased with the NSSF and Techno Holdings and uh, we have fully renovated the building and now we have started uh, started business and we got court order before two weeks and there was auctioneers who were to evict us twice and we have rushed to the court and we get, all, we get orders and that orders have expired today and now we have got an extension of orders and we have filed our case as a sub tenants who have uh, renovated the building with more than 150 million of which also we have uh, 450 almost million uh, uh, business goods which are inside the building like supermarket and also there's two showrooms and uh, there is apartment about eight or something eight, eight or four people who are living up of the apartments and uh, there's a restaurant and furnitures and uh, we have expressed our concern uh, uh, because we are the suffering people we have renovated fully the house and we were not given even a, a, a time to recover our money and now we have come to the court today we have been here and the court has been extended until uh, april uh, may 8 atiko kotini kwa sababu ya tenants ambao wanakuwa evicted na NSSF Board of Trustees katika ni supplies kwa tenants ambao wamekuwa wali supplies kutoka kwa Tekno Holdings na walipata orders walipata auctioneer wakaja kafunga biashara yao na ni watu ambao wame invest over 450 million and then wame invest again another for innovation kwa sababu nyumba hii ya Azina Plaza imekaa kwa muda muda wa miaka kwa lakini na ultimiki na nyumba mbanyo kwa hapo lakini Sheikh Muhammad atishirikiana na wenzake walifanya renovation ya 150 million kuona kana kwamba kumumeku that property iwe kwa maaji pazuri leo hii imepata tenants mba wanaka hapo saibi ya kona tamanini na hapo sasa ni makosa NSSF kuenda kuhifikt innocent tenants as much as there is a court ruling that was an a ruling from the court the man assisi kama organization kuenda kutini kwa enjoying this this case so that we can seek justice na again we also need compensation ya hile case ambao mekumia pale na pia wawese kupata hati yao na wawani wa Kenya 